Okay, well, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Or unless if I don't believe it's enough time, then let's go do this. <laughs> Back to the stranger. I, I feel like I don't know if I have any other chests. Let's just let this open this up. View entry. Okay, so we found two. Uh, we found a slide reel that shows the stranger inhabitants congregating around a strange green fire. Intact slide reels reveal the creation of a simulated reality modeled after their home home moon. Oh, their home moon. It's a moon. That makes sense because their plant, the big planet, they were evolving around that. They were orbiting. Oh, there's a moon planet. That makes sense. Okay. I found a slide reel that appears some sort of report, error report. Yep. Okay. Okay. I think we... I think this is it. I, I can't. I'm trying to think of anything else I would want to try. There's nothing on the log. Honestly, like, is there is there really nothing on this log? Like, you entry. I, the only question mark we have left is the sealed vault. To see what's inside it. This is a, I was like one episode away. Oh no. I, I don't think I was prepared to sit down tonight and finish the DLC. I don't think I was. But here we are. Sometimes we don't have the choice. Sometimes you have to face the reality and don't just live in a simulated world until the universe dies and all the other species die but your species now it'll be fine in a simulated world for i guess forever i don't know how they're this place you know just thinking about that with no stars left in the in the in the galaxy in the solar system and any no any in the galaxy not the solar system the whole universe is dying in this game. You're the, you know, last species. Some of the last species to to live, be intelligent. And, you know, I just think that it's interesting. Like, these guys, I, I assume these guys wanted the universe just to never to... Um, to, n to just never expire for them and just live in indefinitely which maybe there's other you know intelligent beings in this you know universe that uh dang it man i don't have a artifact that's my bad um maybe there's other intelligent beings that are also doing that but uh as far as i can tell now <laughs> the nomai you know we can we found like modern nomai logs in the base game and they say they, they're crowded around a bunch of relatively stable stars um, with the rest of the universe just kind of dying so it's real interesting I feel like um, I feel like I mean I feel like it's selfish I, I mean I un I thought about it more about with these owls and it, it's not like it's unrealistic like what else do you do and the choice they had was to either die out not live in their home world anymore they don't really have a technology to travel that far in comparison um to like no my and so they had the choice of do they destroy the entire universe which honestly that's kind of an evil act right like when you look at the eye everything collapses a new universe starts like that that's heavy how do you whoa interesting um how do you like how do you justify that in our situation like it's literally the last 22 minutes of the star like there's there's no time left there's no one would ever find the eye of the universe and the whole universe is dying. 
So it feels right. It feels like it would be the wrong thing to do is to let this universe die out and not start a new one. It, that feels like the right choice, right? To, to give a chance to future life. But you know, these guys, these, these guys, they discovered this thing, you know, pretty, pretty far off. Like if they didn't do this, technically, you know, a lot of races probably would, like the Nomai, like a young intelligent race would have never been born. I don't know. It's interesting. It's an interesting thought. Like, I don't know if I should consider them evil. Sorry, I'm just like throwing a bunch of jargon, but <laughs> I don't know if I should consider them evil, you know? And I'm wondering if this right here is going to answer some of that question of should I consider them evil? How evil were they <laughs> if they were evil? Here we go. I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the final glitch yet. Um, but I am going to go down and open the other two. If I can, honestly, I don't know if I can. Wait a minute. I have to go to a raft to open the first one. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll do what we can here. I mean, <laughs> That's so silly. I didn't even let's let's set this down. We're going to have to see what this glitch does for us. What do we have here? Oh, wait, maybe we could see the code. No, what is this? Oh, Okay, we can kind of see the code here. Look at that. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we don't have to do the whole... Hey. Hey, guys. That worked out. Okay. I wonder if we can use that method for the other two. That looks like a skull. Is there anything else strange here? Except the stranger. <laughs> oh, I think the engines just started. That's what that sound was. Um, is there a way I can? Is there? There's probably not a way I can do this. I still think we have to do the method. Okay. Well, we won't be able to get to a raft, so we're going to have to go back up. I cannot see anything. Okay. Um, let's I should have done that in the beginning. How much time do we need? We, okay. So if we, we could get to the island. I should have just woke up. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, well. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not meaning to waste time, but I guess that's what I'm doing right now. Please wake me up, fire. Take me. Okay. <gasps> Let us I mean, I guess we need to, we took the raft out. Can we get back up? Probably not easily, huh? There's not a raft there. There's not a raft there. <laughs> I'm just making this super easy on myself, huh? I can't even get up this. Okay. There is, there is a shore there. So dumb. But you know, part of me now is like, can we find the satellite and release the eye signal? I wonder if that's another method of something to figure out. I'm not trying to 
grasp at straws or anything, but maybe maybe I am a little bit, but uh I feel like I want like that one does seem like a, a little bit of like a yeah, we could probably figure that one out. Okay, can I <sighs> Do we have to jump this? And then up here. And then up here. And then up here. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go over here. <sighs> okay. Forty four. Honestly, I don't know if we have time. <laughs> oh no. We're gonna have to go to Cinder Islands. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, don't leave without me. <laughs> Get me there. Okay. I don't, I don't know what to talk about. Like, I feel like we have our theories. We can talk about what's inside of it. Like, I still think it's a person. And honestly, I think that that's why it doesn't really matter if we can get out of the virtual vault area alive. Like, if we have to die to get past those bells, then we have to die to get past those bells. Like, I, I don't think it's going to change anything. It, well, that's not what I meant. I just meant that it, it won't matter because the person who was trapped in that vault died already. He's long gone. Like, there's no way he's alive. Um. So, it's like really the 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 valuable information to gather from the vault would be from the virtual one and it and the only you know another thing is when we open the virtual vault you hear a little crackly dacklies you know a little bit of this a little bit of that and then a green light turns up and that's the only time we've seen that uh happen i believe is those staffs those the uh, these owls can use those staffs to more or less like give POV video or maybe just POV memories of uh, two other people with their staffs. Some kind of technology that gives them access to their memories as a video format to kind of give other people. Sounds kind of crazy. Okay, so we go, we glitch through, we ride the raft back down to the reservoir, which will be broken at this point. Um, should break like right now. <clears throat> it should break like right now. Dang it. Now? Okay, it's gonna break soon, okay? That's all I know. There it is. <laughs> all right. All right, they're gone. Yeah, we wouldn't have had time. Well, I take it back. We might have had just enough time to probably get into the secret area. Everything tilted when that happened. I wonder if we should lay down our thing here. Hmm. One, two, three. That's the library. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, no. Okay, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 
was freaking out. It's fine. Um, yeah, there's no way to get by that, so. It's extinguished, right? We extinguished it. I think so. So... Let's, let's go to the reservoir. Like, we have one final step, technically. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm just nervous. There's not really anything else I could say about it. I'm nervous. I'm also going way too fast. <laughs> okay, that's a little too fast. Whoa, I'm flying! I'm flying! Oh god! All right, smooth entry. <laughs> oh no! I gotta try without it first. We have a we have a few minutes. We're probably at like 15 minutes left on the loop. I just gotta, I feel like it'd be a shame not to try with these glitches. Okay, well, that was dumb. I should have realized that that jump was probably a little too far. <sighs> I... I'm too impatient right now. Okay. Here we go. Lay this down. One little attempt. I have to try. I feel like it has to be a last resort to not try this. <gasps> okay. The last chain. A big sacrifice. Here we go. <gasps> Can't fall down a thing this time. Oh my goodness. It worked. That actually worked. Ah! <laughs> We're like one of them now. No bells can affect us. But don't worry. We're in a time loop. I'm scared. I'm super scared. I feel like there would have been music. Final one. I can't hear it. I can't hear it. That's sad. That's super sad. Not only do they can't hear this, they can't hear the water that breaks in the dam. They can't feel the gravity change in the tower. All they know 
is for some reason their consciousness sleep slips away as they scream. That's just sad. That's that's just a sad and cold kind of reality, isn't it? Last chain. It's so dark. Should I turn on the lights? What's in there? Whoa. It's so dark. Staircase. What? Oh. Oh. It's the telescope. Looking up. There's a lantern down there. Another lantern. guy with the missing horn talk to prisoner ah! <laughs> yes I knew it I knew it I knew it he's a prisoner because he found the signal who are you final one from his memories he woke up the missing bed he turned it off and he let the eye signal go through And they found him. And they imprisoned him. And they retrapped the signal. Project. Scan. And let him see. 
Let him see. Wait, what? Okay, I had to get closer. Oh! Oh! And then we came from it. They mummified. Their world, their ring world died. And became an eclipse and our sun. But those little signals that he let out signaled the Nomai. For only an instant. And they warped. To an unfortunate situation. But some of them escaped. Crash landed and built anew. All in the while exploring the solar system and then unfortunately dying to the interloper. As their ruins went away, we Nomians, mm. Nomians, no, Harthians, gosh, explored what they left behind. Hey, that was, that was Veldspar. And then there's Hal and maybe Hornfell? Or is that us? That's us. I bet that's us. And then on the day we became an astronaut, we explored the galaxy. Don't eat me. You saved this universe. This guy's a hero. There you go. Where is he going? Should we have come with? Wait, was I supposed to come with you? sunrise on their moon as they went off on a raft with their telescope did he walk in I think he did
I assume he didn't go up. But I suppose I'll look real quick. Now ah, the elevator's still down. And he left his staff there to say he did what he wanted and he was in prison for so long <laughs> that he finally stuck in a stuck in a prison that he couldn't wake himself up. Oh wait, no, he could because he had his artifact, but he cho chose not to. Unless you can't blow out your own artifact. And he came out here and he walked into the water. Oh man. We should join him. I'm speechless. Roast the marshmallow. That owl. That prisoner. Made all this happen. Got the Nomai to come. And for us. For us, he allowed us an ability to start a new universe by seeing the eye. The sealed vault. I met one of the strangers inhabitants who was imprisoned within the vault. The prisoner showed me a vision revealing the actions they took that resulted in their internal uh, confinement. I used the vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's it. We did it. I think that's it, guys. That's so amazing. <sighs> I, I, you know, let's, let's, let's take a, let's take a ride. Let's take a ride out. Look at the star sun back up there's a few unanswered questions if we can ourselves maybe go turn off the satellite that's protecting the signal it looks like they destroyed it so we can't actually do that remotely but it doesn't matter we know the location of the star, or the eye of the universe. So we don't have to let the satellite, st or make the satellite stop to see it anyway. I'm wondering if I should go and maybe see the end again. You know? I think maybe we take this moment and just let it glide, you know? 
<laughs> I don't know. I think we just take this moment and just appreciate how amazing that was. <laughs> we called a lot of stuff. I called a lot of things. But I'm not sad about, like, kind of guessing what was in the vault. It made sense. I didn't know why, though. I didn't know why he, he was in the vault. And it's it's crazy to me that it was... It's from... It's from, uh... Like, him agreeing along with the situation when he realized that the universe was going to die if someone saw it. But him dwelling on the thought that it would start anew. And that's fair. Fair to start a new universe when this one is dying. And it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like a really heroic act to go against his, his whole race. But to do something he thought it was right. So, I wish we knew his name in some way. Man, he looks so happy though to get that information and to finally wake up. I can't. Ah, oh, man. It's such an amazing game, guys. <laughs> it's just. It's such a. Such good storytelling in a world where you explore and you find the story yourself anyway. Man. I guess that's where I'm calling it, guys. I say that that's... that's where we end it so thank you for watching thank you for coming along with my journey through the DLC Echoes of the Eye and uh, I appreciate all your comments I appreciate uh, appreciate that you're all lovers of this game too and wanted to see someone else's like experience. I'm going to be so excited to watch other people's experience of this game. And it's DLC in general. Because I'm sure Little Indigestion's going to enjoy it. <laughs> he has no idea what's in store for him. But yeah. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh... Hey, I didn't ask this the whole time, but uh... If you want to see more videos from me, uh, subscribe. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate likes, even though... I don't know. I, I, I just, you know, it means a lot just for you to watch it. <laughs> you know, and I'm not, you know, obviously I'm super small channel. I don't really post regularly, but I really enjoyed this. And I think I want to make more videos. And hey, if you enjoyed watching them and you enjoyed me, subscribe see what else I do I think from this point I'm gonna I'm gonna find more stories because I, I think that was what I liked about this is to was to like record my journey through a story and games have such a unique way of storytelling in general so many different games and I think I want to there's a supernova over there. Cut my. Uh, I think I want. I want to record more, and I think I'm gonna make a super cut of my first journey through this game if I can find enough footage. Um. So we're gonna give that a go. Thank you all again, and uh, hope you're having a nice day. Hoping you're having a nice night. I've dragged this out a long, long, a lot longer than I thought I was going to. So, uh, thank you all. Bye.
Into the sun! Into the sun! I all tabbed! No! Into the sun! Goodbye, Timberoth. Hello, sun. Into the center, into the core. Bye, free! Oh, ha, ha, ha.